I guess the short answer to this would be yes, you can make a knife from a floor tile. However, it is very difficult to make it sharp enough for it to cut. And if you do manage to make it sharp enough, the edge won't last because the tile is too brittle. Anyway, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and today is the day. So I've got a scrap of tile here. This is the stuff that I actually use in my kitchen. And this is what's known as porcelain tile. And porcelain tile is a lot harder, say, than ceramic tile. Ceramic tile is hard on the outside, but it's kind of soft on the inside. Whereas porcelain is hard all the way through. So I don't want to get too fancy with this. So I just grabbed a knife in my kitchen to use as a pattern. I trace around that with a marker and then start cutting it out with a grinder that has a diamond blade on there for cutting stone or tile or concrete. So as you can see, that produces a fairly rough cut and it chips the tile quite easily. And I knew this going in, but it is the fastest way to do the initial shaping. And here you can see I'm grinding the bevels on both sides, trying to get it down thin enough so I could possibly sharpen this with a diamond file. And you can't take it too thin with this diamond blade because the edge will chip off too easily. Here you can see I've got a big chip. That might be a problem later on. So like I said, I've got a diamond file and this is also used for tiles, except this one's kind of worn out and it's certainly not cutting as fast as I would like. So I decided that I would try to do the rest of the shaping on my homemade 2x72 belt grinder. And I've got silicone carbide belts for this and they're used for grinding glass or tile. And I used this before to make a ring out of stone and it really worked well for that, but this ceramic is quite a lot harder. I concentrated on the bevels of the blade to begin with because I really wanted to see how thin I could make that before I put any time into the rest of the knife, like cleaning up the handle and the back of the blade. Because if I can't get that edge thin enough to actually hold an edge, then this project is basically not going to happen. I think that the consistency of a real ceramic knife, the ceramic that goes into it, is much harder and denser than what I have in this floor tile, even though it is a very hard floor tile. So it took probably, I don't know, around 20 minutes to tune up the bevels and get rid of that big chip. And I did manage to get it pretty thin. I thought it would start to chip off as soon as it got thin like that, but it didn't, so that cheered me on some more. And it gave me the confidence to work on the rest of the knife. So I smoothed the back of the knife and the handle. And I also slightly chamfered the edge all the way around to get rid of those chips. And then I figured I would take it back outdoors and try to sharpen it. But as soon as I started doing that with that diamond file, it started to chip on the edge. So I brought it back in and I got out another sander. This is my smaller one with the one by 30 belt. And I have a very fine diamond belt for this that I bought maybe three years ago to sharpen carbide blades, or at least try to anyway. So I figured that would be the thing to use to try to put an edge on this. And as you can see, it's working really well. I'm actually amazed that this is getting this sharp. And I think the difference between using the belt and using the diamond file is that with the diamond file, you're pulling back in a saw type action. And I think when you pull back, that actually chips the edge more easily. Whereas the belt is running in one direction and that's towards the edge of the knife. So anyway, that's it. I think it was an interesting experiment anyway. The knife can't really be used for anything that you're gonna be eating because like I say, the edge is too brittle and if pieces break off, you'll actually be eating those as well.